Our girl and Coronation Street star Michelle Keegan reveals her new fashion range. She was propelled into the limelight back in 2008 when she took on the role of Tina McIntyre in Coronation Street. She left the soap in 2014 and has since starred in shows including Ordinary Lies, Tina and Bobby and BBC One hit Our Girl. Away from the cameras, Michelle, 30, is enjoying life living between Manchester, Essex and LA, where her husband, former Toei star Mark Wright, is based. And she seems happier than ever. Having just launched a brand new spring, summer collection for Very.co.uk, there's no stopping her at the moment. We sat down with Michelle to find out more and your new collection with Very.co.uk is gorgeous. How do you come up with the ideas? I work alongside Very. When we put the collection together I was in Malaysia, filming our girl, so I would send them pictures of things that I liked from the catwalk or pictures that inspired me. What they do is put the collection together and then I would say something like, yeah. I like that dress but can we make it into this color or can we add this print? They'll then send me swatches of prints and ideas of what they think would look nice in that outfit, so we work together. I do like to chill out and relax and wear comfortable clothes what are your favorite pieces from the collection? I love the polka dot dress. I already know where I'm going to wear it I've got a wedding to go to in June. I love the white and red pinstripe dress with the ruffled sleeves and the white dress with ruffles, it's off the shoulder. That would look really nice in the day with a pair of gladiator sandals, really cool. Is summer your favorite season to dress for? I do like summer but I do change one minute I like winter because I like layering and I like the boots, then other times I love the simplicity of wearing a simple dress and accessorizing it. What do you wear on your days off? I like to wear loungewear if I'm not doing anything in the day. I do like to chill out and relax and wear comfortable clothes. Do you enjoy dressing up? Yeah, it's something different because I don't get dressed up in the day, so for me events are fun to mix and match outfits for and accessorize and do my makeup and hair. It's fun, especially when you're not in a rush. Do you like having the help of a stylist? I like putting things together but I like a stylist's input because they put things together that I would never think to put together and it looks really nice. Do you help Mark with his fashion? He asks my opinion but I think he's got a really good sense of style anyway. You've spent time visiting him in LA, what do you guys get up to? Just normal things that we missed out on last year when I was away filming our girl, like going to the cinema. We go for lunch and breakfast and we walk to the gym together. It's really nice and relaxed. Have you guys got any holidays planned this year? Mark's brother Josh is getting married in June so we're going to Mallorca for a week, which is really exciting, I can't wait for that. 
What's your ideal holiday? I love a beach holiday because I like to relax. I like to sit there on the beach with a pina colada and some music that is my dream. But I did go skiing last year with a big group of us and I really enjoyed it. I didn't think I was going to but I really did, so that just proves I'm up for anything really. As long as I've got good company, I think that's the main thing. If you had a date to do anything, what would you do? I would definitely go for a coffee in the morning with my mum and go for breakfast. Then I'd probably take the dogs for a nice walk somewhere like Dunham Massey, which is a big manor house with loads of grounds with deer and you can stop off at a cafe and have a slice of cake. I'd do that and then I'd probably go out with a big group my brother and his friends, my best friends and Mark and go for a really nice meal, preferably sushi. That's my favorite Asian fusion. Then go for a few drinks after that. Tell us about your exercise routine, because you look amazing. I mix it up, so sometimes I go to classes and I've just started yoga. I go to yoga once a week now. I really enjoy group exercises. Other times I like to get in the gym and do my own thing. I like to do weights for 40 minutes. I don't really have a trainer and I use one now and again, once in a blue moon, but that's because they're in the gym and because I go to the same gym I know them quite well so they come over and give me tips, which is good. And how about your diet, do you enjoy cooking? Yeah, I like cooking, I find it quite therapeutic. It's a time to chill out concentrate on something else. It's really nice. I'm really good at doing tapas dishes, I'm good with timings when everything is on the go. I like tapas night with rustic breads and olives and different meats and cheeses. Then I'll make garlic and king prawns, creamy mushrooms, chicken wrapped in parma ham and dressed salads with pomegranate and feta, so I do quite well actually. How do you pamper yourself? I do like getting my nails done, that's a treat for me. Also, if me and my mum were to have a spa day it would be amazing. We haven't had one for ages but I think that's on the agenda now I've got a bit of time off. What beauty product do you swear by? I love the Chanel Soleil Dan, it's like a big pot and you can put it all over your face. If you're on holiday you don't have to wear any base with it and you can build on it to make it look darker, or you can use it as a contour. For me, I put tinted moisturizer on and put that over the top and I don't have to blot it down because it doesn't look greasy. That's my beauty go-to at the minute. Is there anything you didn't like about yourself when you were younger but now embrace? My teeth, I got them fixed. 
I used to have really bad teeth and I was really conscious of them, I never used to smile in pictures. So that was one thing. But also my ears, I've always mentioned that they're quite big but I don't care anymore so now I embrace them. I'm like, yeah, I've got big ears, so what 